Hey up world, it's 9.30 in the morning on the 14th of July and this is my forecast for the coming week. But first, just very quickly, a big, big thank you to Rod and Elaine at the Healing Weekend. I had such a great time. I met so many hundreds of people. I did about 35 readings. Great weekend. I'll do it again next year. Thank you. Right, the week ahead. It's not quiet, okay? As we speak, there's a lot going on. As we speak, right now we've got um, the Sun approaching square to Ceres, the North Node and Mars. And this is one of the two main features of this coming week. This square is going to get stronger and stronger. I actually feel that the Grand Cross influence is over now. The rhetoric, the, the actions uh, of this last six months are now not so much fading out, but concentrating into site-specific targets or actions, which will become more incisive over the coming week or two, but will affect fewer and fewer people and be more and more niche or targeted. Today, today the moon's in Aquarius as I speak all day. It's not that difficult a moon. It'll be trying Mars most of the day. So it's a nice enough day today, but this is a kind of... Um, post-weekend haze really. Once we're into tomorrow, the moon moves into Pisces. And once we're into Tuesday, we've got uh, much of tomorrow is going to be influenced by the moon in early Pisces and its conjunction with Neptune. And this is going to, when's this going to be? It's going to be about, I don't know, three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, UK time. Still not a big deal, but uh, um, I, it makes me think that tomorrow, Tuesday, is not going to be that much of a focused and concentrated day. Instead, it's going to be a lot of um, emotional heart-wrenching and a lot of guilt-tripping and a lot of you should, if you love me, or, or what that type of thing. And that's the more negative version of the Moon in Pisces conjunct Neptune. It's the, the feel sorry for me uh, factor. Um, if we move on into Wednesday of this week, Wednesday's the day. Wednesday, the moon's in late Pisces. It's moving into trine with the sun and trine with Jupiter as Jupiter leaves Cancer for the final time in 11 years. It's not coming back for another 11 years. And it's moving into Leo on Wednesday. So Leos, get ready. Your time is coming. And a lot of people I know, Leos and Cancers, are waiting for Jupiter to move into, to move into Leo. It should be uh, a much better year for many people from this time onwards. Really, this is a trigger point this Wednesday. At the same time, also on Wednesday, Mercury exits its retrograde shadow. It is now treading fresh ground again as of Wednesday and the influences of this last six weeks Mercury retrograde should now be a thing of the past. It is this, this in a way, Wednesday is a kind of releasing energy. Mercury shadows finished, so the communication problems are done. Jupiter's moved into the overs, a whole new burst of energy coming in. And then we move into Thursday. And once we're into Thursday, bang, moon moves into Aries. It immediately moves into a pattern where, although on Thursday itself it's brewing, but it's gathering speed. And as we get into Friday, Friday particularly, the moon in mid late Aries, the moon will be conjunct Uranus, then it will square the sun, then it will oppose Ceres, Mars, Jupe, and, and, and um, the North Node. The actual um, square, the exact square of the sun to Mars doesn't take place until Saturday. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the sun and Mars will be square and is likely to be a degree of... Um, Hmm. Temporary short-term irritation, volatility, frustration and impatience for all people with planets at 24, 25 and 26 degrees of the cardinal signs. As we get uh, into the end, this weekend coming, the emphasis moves away from the troublesome square from the sun to Mars and more into the approaching new moon as the sun gets ready to move into Leo and then the moon will catch up with it and there'll be this big new moon conjunct Jupiter on the 26th. Also, as we get to next weekend, Saturn's standing still and stopping going retrograde. It's becoming stationary and there will be a kind of cessation of challenges for a number of people.
So all in all, it's looking like this week is heading into a sort of slow build. But by Wednesday, there's going to be a few events that are going to change one or two basic dynamics. And as a result, Thursday and especially Friday are likely to be very proactive and potentially quite feisty with a great deal of cardinal Aries and Martian energy around. With the Sun Square Mars on Saturday and then fading into the Saturn retrograde as we get into Sunday onwards heading towards the new moon, it does seem that in a week from now, decisions will have been made, actions will have been taken and the dust will hopefully be beginning to settle. It's going to not be a quiet week. So um, keep your roller skates oiled. Get your surfboard greased. Stay flowing. Great time to be alive. Catch you later.